and allow me to go straight to answering the question posed by Ms. Nadia. It's true that I signed an agreement with the President regime in 1997. The circumstances that made my movement sign the Khartoum Peace Agreement were as follows. The Egad Peace Process had then stalled and the Egad Summit of heads of state and government had convened a summit in Nairobi on the 5th January 1999, uh, sorry, 1995, even directing the Sudanese people to pursue peace the way they want. So my movement got into dialogue with the regime in Khartoum. Then the peace agreement, the basis of the agreement was or where as followed. Self-determination to be exercised in a referendum internationally supervised uh, for people of Southern Sudan. That's the major issue. But all in all, we push the regime. Let me say the, the regime has not kept to its word. It violated the Khartoum Peace Agreement, which was signed in front of the Sudanese people in the Republican Palace. That shows to you Khartoum, or the regime in Khartoum, is not credible. I, you, you recall I was appointed president for the South and assistant president of the Republic. Two good jobs. <laughs> I, I, I have a commitment. Commit, a commitment to my people. A commitment to bring about peace in Sudan and to realize the exercise of right of self-determination to the people of Southern Sudan. <laughs> and in a democratic forum. I didn't get that in Khartoum. They cheated me for how many months? I think they cheated me for about 30 months. <laughs> So I had to quit. <laughs> Nadia, that, that, that doesn't mean I'm, uh, uh, I'm not uh, stable in my political uh, inclination. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come. I was there in 1983 until 1991. When a, confl a conflict occurred, conflict of, of ideas, conflict of perception, conflict of what is it we are fighting for, we had a debate. What is the objective of this struggle? Because we had overthrown or through our good offices. Nimeru, the dictator then, was overthrown in 1985, April 6. But then we continued fighting. General Suala Dahab with his uh, civilian cabinet. <coughs> Suala Dahab handed over to a democratically elected government. I tell you, I found it very difficult. I was a field commander, particularly in the northern France, in the oil fields, uh, in western Upper Nile, and in Upper Nile, 
uh, Northern Apennine rain areas going to uh, Kinan areas. I found it difficult, I should admit, fighting a man called Sadiq and Mahdi. The reason was simple. The Sudanese people had elected a democratic government. So I asked myself, what am I fighting for? Democracy or because if, if it were democracy, a man like me would have joined Sadiq al Mahdi in nineteen eighty six and in 19, uh, up to nineteen eighty nine. But because the aspirations of the people of Southern Sudan they aspire for democracy, let me say. But it is exercise of right of self-determination. So we continued fighting Sati. But then we were not clear. When, when Bashir took over, the world became simple. Because now we could say, this is a dictator. Sadi was difficult. So we, we, we had that debate. I am so happy today that the debate is over. We're signing. <laughs> and, and this struggle that we establish from scratch can take anyone because we couldn't reach. And if you and I left, unfortunately, it cost us a lot. That 11 years of conflict brother fighting brother and you have a common enemy here yes. it was so difficult so one I, I am happy today that it this is over <laughs> then Nadia how can I then leave since the objective that I wanted to be clear made clear the world is there. The principles of democracy, human rights, is there. I think the, 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 the liberation is struggle. We have been two movements for 11 years. The liberation is struggle that is united today. And I think, and Bashir knows, this is not an easy thing, it's not a joke. <laughs> And just to give a little comment on what our elder uh, uh, brother, and also he has been a helper. You know, he, 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 he moved between me and uh, my brother, Dr. Garan. I, I'm happy that the guy who thought that he should bless this, he did it very well. I, I didn't have the pre-arrangement. So, Mr. Kipler, uh, we appreciate your, your word. Our unity will last. And you recall this are this are the <laughs> Thank you, Nadia. Yeah. I'm a local journalist. I work for a private agency known as the Regional Scope Media Network for the Global region. Now, um, I will direct the first question to Dr. Garan, and then the joint question to both of you, Tim. Uh, Mr. Garang, the fight in the Sudan was left by the British supposed to be independent. <coughs> they left it fighting itself. Because by 1955, the South had rebelled into it. The assumption in, in Khartoum was that the South rebelled because it is not Muslim, it is not Arab. Uh, luckily enough, these days we have Muslims. No? <laughs> but some of these Muslims 
are <coughs> sliding along or side by side with us who can be described non-Muslims. It has even gone further, not only in the south, it has gone further northwards, that there are people, including Sheikh Ayad uh, al-Sulman al-Marlani, Muhammad Usman al Marlani, sorry. He is also fighting. Now, then the question is what is wrong in Sudan? Is it the conceptualization of this state? Or do we hate each other? I think it is the conceptualization of the state. And then when people like us demand the right for exercise of self-determination is because we have analyzed that there's something wrong in the conceptualization of this state. Sudan is multiracial, multi-religious, multicultural, multi-ethnic. It's a great, it would be a great state, it would be an economic power. It would also be, it would be a military power in the region. <laughs> but as long as the rulers in Khartoum want to forge an Islamic state, an Arab state, it, 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 it has shattered the foundation it should stand on. <coughs> So, people look for new ideas. <coughs> One of them is the news that. Can we get a form of unity where we accommodate? <coughs> we were discussing in the palace. Uh, I had the privilege, uh, and the man who had no constitutional clause, but he is the president. <laughs> so while, while we were discuss, discussing arrangements, how would we participate in government? I told the, the aide, uh, a very close man, I should say, uh, say his name. Uh, the President Bashir appointed me Minister of Defense. The man nearly jumped out of his skin. <laughs> now, imagine why Rick Bashar cannot be Minister of Defense. I come from the Central Sudan. <coughs> Center of it. Where the oil is. Can Rick Bashar not guide the, the wells of the Sudan? But let me tell you, what, what is The problem is, they have Islamized the army. How would a non-Muslim have an institution which is, which is being used for Islamizing the country? How would that happen? The jihad, me and my brother, uh, Dr. Gerang was talking about, the instrument. Be to carry it out, not only in the kingdom. They, they, they move with uh, somebody who can pray like uh, John Sudan. <laughs> pray to us. That is our problem. So we are looking for new concepts, new ideas, new visions to create new Sudan. I always say we have failed to do so. Sadiq has failed. Bashir has failed to do so. Then why don't they 
let the South go. Uh, nobody refuses the Sudan to tell you frankly that we have this problem of conceptualization at Tanzir Lidolet Sudan al Hadith. This is this, this is the problem. <clears throat> and so when the rest of, of the Sudan don't listen, what will the South say? We go. The West is fully Muslim. Right? The it had this and dollar dollar four. Dollar four, I wonder if it's a minute. It's a minute, but it's a dollar four. But I can. When I look at us, get my down. We're bah who be an every dollar Arabia for Sudan. The man's a dollar four. Sorry, let me go ahead. <laughs> Nobody declares war against his own country. But even suppose I would have. And I was Alan Harba Ala Mamudud Yan Almudin Telgas. And I know who moved him. ما هو مخطئ لأنه بيمارس الإرهاب على كل ناس. people. 